Hey there, glad you stopped by the cabin. I'm Joseph, the owner and creator of the Owen 30 Mosquito Creek Lumber Company, Swamp Log and Railroad. We're hanging out on the screen porch, keep the skeeters at bay, having a little smoke and a little cocktail and thinking about model railroading. Thanks for dropping by, like I said, and uh, been a little while since I put a video up on YouTube. Summertime means a lot of work in the yard and doing a lot of photography work, uh, business calls, you know, lots of things to do, keeping it up when the weather's nice. And then during the winter when it's really cold here in Iowa, um, <clears throat> it's good to be inside and do more model railroading. One of the things I wanted to talk about, and I had an article about this in a model railroading magazine recently, was lighting on your layout. Now, lighting's really important especially if you do a lot of photography on your layout and special effects lighting is really fun too and I use a lot of it on the Mosquito Creek Lumber Company. We'll put in some LED strip lights and see how those work for the layout. I love them. I've had them installed for quite a while now both the uh, daylight type white and some colored ones too to get those special effects down in the swamp. So come on follow along. We'll uh, show you how I did it on my layout and I hope you'll try it too. It's pretty cheap and inexpensive way of providing some nice lighting for your model railroad layout. Come on. All right, we are back in the train room and it's time to take a look at the LED lighting. You know, when I first started the model railroad hobby as a youngster back in the 60s, uh, the primary source for light for the old 4x8 plywood mounted loop of HO track was whatever light fixture was mounted to the ceiling of the family room or bedroom. Forward to today and as model railroaders, we don't have to settle for old school lighting. I'm currently, as you know, building a much smaller double deck shelf layout on one side of an extra small bedroom and the plan calls for two separate layers two scales and two layout concepts of course on top it's the owen 30 gauge mosquito creek lumber company swamp logging railroad and on the lower level is my hawaiian themed big island rail which is standard gauge ho so with this type of stacked bench work using the large shop lights that i have used in the past or fluorescent tubes would take up a huge amount of of space above and below the top level bench work and I'd heard a lot of good things about LED lighting that's light emitting diode LED for model railroading purposes so I did my research to determine what would work best for my layout situation I finally settled on the self sticking LED tape lighting it's also known as LED ribbon lights LED strips are flexible lightweight easy to install and each LED section is about a quarter of an inch wide and supplied in various lengths. The LEDs are pretty economical to use as well. According to internet sources, the potential savings are pretty significant. LEDs draw up to 85% less electricity than conventional incandescent lighting and about 18% less electricity than compact fluorescent lamps. A real benefit that I found was the high output LED tape consumes about 5 watts per foot, provides illumination while staying cool. The LEDs are low carbon have no flicker and emit no radiation or pollution to humans and the environment so that's a good thing and they're said to last a very long time under ideal conditions LEDs are rated for 50,000 hours uh, do the math that's about six years of continuous use after scouring the web, I ended up buying Minger brand LEDs off of Amazon. I'm not trying to endorse one brand of lighting over another. And if you give LED strips a try, you might find you prefer another brand with other options that meet your layout needs better. The Minger LEDs are very affordable at $15 a set and offered a 16.4 foot long LED strip featuring 300 LEDs with a 6,000 Kelvin daylight white color output and the 16.4 foot length is perfect for adding LED lighting to my shelf layouts. I can run one strip continuously from one end of the layout to the other without having to add sections or cut the lighting strip. By the time my LED lighting strips arrived, I'd finished building the display shelf above the entire Owen 30 level. I attached a curved 1 8 inch thick by 5 inch wide masonite hardboard valance along the front edge of the layout to help hide the shelf brackets and then when lit the LED lighting gives the layout a real classic shadow box look which I love 
Some of the photos that I'm showing are kind of funny. The scenery on the Mosquito Creek Lumber Company layout has definitely come a long way since when these install photos were snapped. As you can see, I used two separate coils of the 6000K LED strips, one directly above the layout bench work right down the middle, and the other I adhered to the inside of the valance. The strips come with a peel and stick 3M adhesive backing, so using the two strips helped even out the lighting and eliminated shadows that I found were produced by only a single strip down the middle. I made sure I positioned the three foot long 12 volt adapter plug and wire plus the wired controllers with the off on switch and brightness adjustment buttons. I put those at the end of the layout right above an electrical wall outlet so that made it simple to plug in and I used a multi outlet power strip because I had more than just the one lighting strip to plug in. I like the fact that I can adjust the brightness of the strips and use them separately or both together if I want depending on the desired brightness of the layout scene. It's just like a, a light dimmer in your home. Just hit the plus if you want the lights brighter, the minus if you want them less bright, and the off and on switch independent of each other. It's pretty good. To jazz things up and bring in some special effects to the layout, I also purchased a similar LED light strip package, but this one had multicolored lights. It comes with a wireless remote control to control the lights, give you a multitude of different different colors and combinations of colors and this LED strip like the others was adhered to the inside of the valance above the layout as well. With the multicolored LEDs I can choose lighting tones say on the blue scale for simulating nighttime for operations. I can use greens for making the swamp look really haunted and creepy or uh, the red lights to give a sunrise or a sunset look and warmth to the layout. So to kind of wrap up, these lights have been a lot of fun, not a lot of money, and uh, I've been having a great time kind of experimenting with different colors and intensities of the white lights and seeing how I like to use them for photography especially and also for operating the model railroad. And you take those special effects accompanied by sound effects audio tracks that I can play. It creates different moods and adds a little theater on the layout. A couple more special lighting effects are planned for the swamps and I'll tell you about those in an upcoming video so stay tuned thanks for subscribing and liking the video we appreciate that we went over 200 subscribers recently and I couldn't be happier thanks for your support and thanks for loving model railroading like I do in the meantime keep swatting those skeeters